So this semester, fall 2014, I decided to use the Turning Point Technologies, um, which is basically a short, uh, long way of saying clickers. We use clickers uh, in the Van Leer Auditorium. Um, the onus for this was I've taught 2026 before in that hall, and there's anywhere from like 100 to 150 students at a time. And it's very PowerPoint driven, so you're, you're delivering a lot of information to the students, and aside from asking a question every now and then where you maybe get a student to raise their hand or offer an explanation, there's not really a lot of feedback from the students. So I have found myself, um, despite my best efforts, spending a lot of time talking at the students. Um, and doing my best to incorporate them, but it was very hard to draw them to responding in any kind of meaningful um, way. So that was in fall 2013. So for this semester, um, I decided to try something else. I didn't realize the Turning Point Technology software was already installed in Van Leer. So um, we made a requirement for all the students to have clickers. For Georgia Tech students, that wasn't really a big deal because they apparently already had clickers from previous classes. Um, it was an issue for the transfer students. They had to go and buy some, but it's a moderate cost. Um, and we required them to bring them um, to class with them um, for every, every lecture. Um, and what I wanted to do with that is it was important to me to see if, while I was teaching, if any part of what we were saying was actually getting into their head. Were they understanding anything that I was talking about? Um, because while it made perfect sense to me, it may not make any sense or a moderate amount of sense to them. And I wasn't sure if they knew what was going on. So I found that a lot of students sometimes in that class, because this is a large lecture hall, maybe they're being on their computer, maybe they're actually paying attention, maybe they're not. Um, so with the clickers, what I decided to do was, during the lecture I would intersperse um, questions that um, would depend. Um, so sometimes I would put a lecture, a, a clicker question at the beginning of a lecture and the goal of that would be to test previous knowledge. Maybe uh, it would be a question on content from the most recent lecture covered. Um, sometimes what I would do is I would put clicker exercises in the middle or at the end of a lecture and what it would be designed to do in that case would be to basically say, okay guys, we've just covered this topic or this concept and before we go to the next concept or before we expand any further on this concept, let's try to figure out where you are right now with what we've just said. And the point of that was I would tell them there's a clicker exercise coming up, um, make sure you pay attention. So they would pay attention, hopefully, um, to the lecture, and then I'd ask a question about mid-lecture or at the end on the information I just covered. It wouldn't be incredibly difficult, it's just enough to kind of get a gauge of what their level of knowledge was. Um, then the feedback from the clicker technology is a poll. So the poll would show me the percentage of students that answered either an A, B, C, or D question. Then I would use that information as a feedback tool for myself to determine, okay, I've lost half the class, or you guys have got this, you can move on to the next thing. Let's take a look. Wow. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. All right, so let's see what happens. Not bad. Um, what I started doing towards the end of the semester, I started recognizing using all the technology in the, in the uh, Van Leer um, auditorium and discovered that uh, they also had a document camera on the, uh, on the side. So what I started doing towards the end of the semester also, when I found there was a problem that clearly the class had a problem with, I would then say, okay guys, you didn't understand how to do that one, let's pause for a minute before we go to the next topic and let's discuss that specific problem that you just did yourself. And then I would turn on the document cam and I would work the problem for them in the class to show them the techniques that they should have employed when they were trying to solve it in the first place. As far as the student response to it, um, I think it's been positive in, in general in the class. Um, when they get it right, there's, a, there's almost an, audit, an audible um, sense of euphoria, I suppose. I hear students like they smile or they go yes or they do some kind of thing that I got that problem right. Um, but it's not across the board. Some students are bored. Um, there has been comments um, from students that said it was just a glorified way of taking attendance, um, which means they devised that that's pretty much one of the reasons why we also used it. Attendance had not been great. Um, so in this particular semester, um, we attach their clicker exercises, at least their completion of them, to qualifying for certain perks in the class, like the curve, for example. They had to complete a certain number of clicker exercises, which basically meant you had to attend a certain number of lectures to show that you were at least trying uh, to do well in the class. Um, that met with mm, 
mixed reaction. We're still doing our assessment. We'll, we'll have more formal assessment by the end of the semester um, to discuss. But I did have one student um, tell me during class, he said, you know, he enjoyed the clicker exercises because it forced him to prepare for lecture because he knew that there's probably going to be a question or at the very least it helped him pay attention more during lecture because he knew there might be a question coming up. And at least in the interaction with it, I could see that there was, um, at least overall, there seemed to be a positive response to so students being able to see how the rest of the class had responded to something. It wasn't just them that didn't know something. When they can see that list, I got this wrong, but it wasn't just me. A lot of people got that wrong. So it's a, a way of trying to help students understand that we're, they're all struggling with it. So um, that's how I used it. Um, I'll be presenting some more formal information on it um, at a later date.